That's right. Deb Holland is a name that's very familiar to a lot of you. She is the leader of the New Mexico Democratic Party, and she says one of the victims in that car crash is her niece. She also says there were two other children in the car, three years old and six years old. The children are here at UNMH recovering. It was a tangled mess. Albuquerque police say Sunday morning, Stacy Leon and her husband, Henry Lukey, were killed when the SUV they were in rolled over and over. Police are still investigating exactly how the crash happened, but say Leon was driving and her husband was in the passenger seat. Their two kids were in the car, too. Investigators say the SUV veered into another lane and hit a semi. The SUV then rolled. Police say both the mom and dad were thrown from the SUV and did not survive. APD says someone driving by stopped to help and saw a six-year-old child crawling out of the banged-up SUV. A three-year-old child was still inside. The six-year-old has minor injuries. The three-year-old was seriously hurt. Police say there were alcohol containers found in the debris. APD says the couple is from Acoma. Family members tell us they do not know why they were in the Albuquerque area or where they were going. Okay, Deb Holland tells me that her family is obviously devastated. She says that they are asking for privacy, but she did tell me that they're a very close-knit family, that her niece was a star volleyball player at Highland High School and graduated about a decade ago. Live at UNMH, I'm Nancy Laughlin, KYT Action 7 News.